Hey everybody, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing, all that stuff. I really do appreciate it. Um, this is going to be your reading for today, the 2nd of December 2020, or whenever you're guided to see it and it resonates. It's for the collective, it's for anyone who's guided here, and um, hopefully your story will come through. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know for the collective for today? For anyone who is guided here, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most. For today's energy, today, December 2nd, 2020, or whenever they're guided to watch this reading. Okay, let's do it. What do we need to know about this reading, please, for the collective? What's important? And you know, I want to grab a couple oracle real quick. Um, let's use the energy oracle today. What do we need to know for today, for the collective? What's most important? Okay. All tied up and fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So this is um, all about you not being able to speak up about something. You feel like you're bound and gagged can't say something why do we feel this way all right well let's get a little bit more information here so you're definitely feeling like your hands are tied your voice is tied you can't speak up and there's a need here for you to speak all right what do we need to know about this reading please now if it's not you it's someone around you okay could have to do with a relationship a contract anything like that that's the hierophant in reverse what else do we need to know? Somebody could be, um, you know, sworn to secrecy if they're um, involved in some kind of um, contract or legal battle. This Knight of Wands flew out and across the room. It ended up on its side, which means it's a challenge. Um, I just had that for a challenge for another reading the other day, uh, yesterday. Whether I don't know if it was a personal reading, though, or an actual public reading, so... Um, that's just ironic that this it's same deck too came out as a challenge in another reading okay knight of swords so we have hierophant reverse knight of swords this could be that moment well in this deck knight of swords is really all about movement see how the motorcycle's gotten away from him and he's chasing it it's like the motorcycle took off and he's got to catch up with the motorcycle um, he's got his, you know, crossbow on, there's the bird in flight. It's all about movement for me, that particular Knight of Wands, uh, well, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is always about movement for me, but sometimes it's about voice speaking. So we have all tied up and Fifth Chakra Archangel Gabriel, which is about the voice. So I am wondering if someone's going to speak up after something was completely like i almost feel like there was some somebody wasn't allowed to speak up whoa there we go queen of swords and she was going to come out in reverse and she flipped all the way around and landed on my arm right side up this is very interesting okay so definitely all right so this is spirit's way of saying yes i was on the right track even though this is normally a movement card it is about speaking up it is about somebody using their voice now i feel there's some kind of truth and clarity and an opportunity after a situation where someone couldn't speak up about something or is there something going on here wow we also have the emperor and we also have the three of pentacles i feel like i want to get more cards so what i'm going to do I feel like this needs to be a bigger reading. Okay, it just feels important. Okay, give me two more cards, please. Okay, there it is. There it is. I don't believe it. Wow. And what's sticking out is temperance was sticking right out as if it was saying, please take me. All right, let's talk about this. I know I got more cards than I had originally planned to, but here it is what we were looking for and that is all tied up the same exact card this is like the eight of swords in regular tarot where someone's all tied up but it came out reverse so we're no longer feeling that way so absolutely someone has felt all tied up something happened here and someone feels like they were betrayed as well with the ten of swords here and it's reversed thankfully with the eight of swords reverse so something happened here 
no doubt about it, where someone felt like they were betrayed in some way to the point where they could do nothing about it. They could say nothing about it. There was nothing they could do. I don't know if this was some kind of, um, I almost want to feel like this was something at work or a contract or something. So I'm thinking that you guys are going to have sudden movement here after being all tied up, unable to speak, unable to do anything, throat chakra completely closed up here. Archangel Gabriel is here saying, look, let's work on this. It's time for you to get untrapped out of your head. Uh, start speaking up about whatever you need to speak up with and start moving forward. And it looks like it's going to happen. Um, <clears throat> you know, we've got the Knight of Swords, the King, or the Knight of Movement, right? Of quick, pass, fast um, paced movement. And we've got the Queen of Swords right next to him, the Queen of Communication. I feel like this is all about to change for you. This had to do with something having to do with, um, it could have been a partnership or a relationship. It could have been a binding contract. There could have been a reason like you could not speak. Um, you could have been contracted, you know, this could have been a legal thing. You couldn't speak. Um, and here we go. Knight of Wands. This movement has been on hold here. Um, and right next to it is like, well, it's been on hold. And then boom, we're allowed to move forward. We're allowed to get untrapped. We're allowed to speak up. We're allowed to do whatever we want now after a time of being kind of like trapped almost. Um, now this could be physical. This could be mental, you know, um, if this was a relationship or something like that this all was you feeling trapped feeling like you couldn't speak up feeling like you couldn't do anything feeling like you were stuck um we have the emperor here and he looks good he's in the upright okay i'm not saying that he is good because we're going to look more into that but right next to the emperor we have the three of pentacles and we have people who are working together on something here so this could be an actual boss and this could be why you couldn't speak up or do anything you were in some kind of contracted arrangement all right we do have the ten of swords so somebody here felt very betrayed somebody here did feel very stuck we're getting unstuck now and this was all divinely guided archangel um michael here with temperance bringing in the balance to this situation beautiful so something happens that's going to change or something's about to happen that's going to change what was going on here i want to take a little look here back at the um at what was going on here yeah we actually have the empress back here in reverse all right so something's been going on we have emperor here we have empress here she's not happy though she's emotionally drained look at this this is an empress who has been emotionally drained five of cups reversed and ten of cups reversed we're getting past a time that was very emotionally draining yes it could have been a family situation not only do we have the ten of cups reversed we also have the ten of pentacles reversed this empress five of cups reversed ten of cups reversed ten of pentacles reversed has been emotionally drained by something it could have been a family situation it could have been a financial situation we have here the five of swords reversed. Somebody was taking advantage of this person. Uh, both fives are reversed. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. The fives, I always tell you guys, are a difficult place to be, but they're both reversed, and that's excellent. The fives are a place where we get stuck in being uh, taken advantage of. See this bird pecking at this person, really giving them a, like a major headache. This is somebody who's been bullied, who's been put through the ringer, possibly with family members, possibly with the financial situation. No matter what this was, whether it was work or family, it was emotionally draining. Regardless, this empress has been through this. We also have here this um, Five of Cups reverse. This is someone who was lost, lonely, sad, grieving, um, going through a very difficult emotional time. So... This could have been a financial and emotional situation, but I want you guys to see what's going on here. So we have all the fives reversed. Five of cups are reversed. Five of swords are reversed. Like I said, the fives are a place where we get stuck. That is, um, sometimes people get stuck in the fives for years. They're the times when we're feeling abused. We're feeling taking a taken advantage of we're getting bullied we're feeling lost lonely sad left out in the cold there's fighting there's arguing there's bickering there's competition that's when we're in the fives you can be stuck in the fives for days weeks months years um 
whoever I'm talking to that w is going to resonate with this, you are getting out of those freaking fives. Thank you. Hallelujah. Right? You're going to head towards the beautiful sixes. But I want to tell you something. I feel like this is going to happen super fast for you. Because look at what you got. You got Ten of Cups reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. And Ten of Swords reversed. This is like un freaking believable all your fives and all your tens are reversed you're headed towards a brand new beginning here no doubt about it you are headed towards a brand new beginning look at this the empress with the five of cups reversed the ten of cups reversed the five of swords reversed and the ten of pentacles reversed and the ten of swords reversed right next to the eight of swords reversed this is done for you you are going to bust free of this whether this was a karmic contract a spiritual one or a physical one whether it was a real contract you had with some kind of boss figure or something here something is changing here this could have been a situation where you had to work with other people I don't know what this was but we're gonna get to the bottom of it quickly um, sorry about the phone guys I forgot all right, so let me turn that ringer off and get right into it. Definitely, this is a very interesting reading, so I cannot wait to clarify it for you. So let's grab out, let's use, oh, I'm sorry, this was Lightseer's Tarot. Gorgeous deck, one of my most favorite decks, and my favorite little clarifying deck, um, the Everyday Witch. Let's get into it and see. And the oracle that I used at the top was Energy Oracle. All right, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone, for the highest good for today's energy, for the collective, for anyone who is guided to see this reading here on YouTube and anyone who resonates with it, please tell us all about this reading. We definitely want to get some clarity around what's going on here. Somebody's going from stuck and being stuck in those horrible fives for I don't even know how long to graduating from everything. It's like you're so it's, something's just suddenly going to happen. And you're going to put all this behind you. With all those tens reversed, this cycle's ending. It's ending. And it looks like it's all for the better. All for the better. This has been a very stuck cycle for you. A very difficult cycle of being trapped in some kind of um, something here where you couldn't do anything about something or you felt like you couldn't speak up or you couldn't move forward in your life. There was something keeping you trapped. Like I said, it could have been... A spiritual contract but it could have been an actual physical contract of some sort or an agreement or something all right let's get into it tell me about this Hierophant reverse what do we need to know about Hierophant reverse I feel like this yeah death reverse you were stuck death reversed is a card of being completely stuck when we have death in the upright we have cycles that are changing things that are um the old dies off and we get a brand new start, right? But when it's in reverse, this is a stuck cycle. You were stuck in something here. Um, absolutely. Tell me about the, um, tell me about the Knight of Wands as a challenge here. Unable to move forward. Tell me about this challenging Knight of Wands. Why is it a challenge? Yeah, Six of Swords moving forward has been a challenge getting to the Sixes. You had a hard time getting to these sixes. Uh, oh my gosh, another six. Oh my gosh, the lovers. All right, so the lovers is some kind of a decision. It's also some kind of energy between two people. See how energetic it is? This honestly feels like it was some kind of agreement, whether it was a soul tie or an actual physical agreement. The heart, You could not move forward. You were completely stuck. This forward movement is has been very difficult to get to. Um, but a decision here is being made to move forward. I don't, um, I want to see how you get to this. And yeah, there's some kind of clarity coming in with the Seven of Cups reversed at the bottom too. So let's get on this um, Knight of Swords because this is where the actual physical movement begins here. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. It's like a decision gets made and then you spring forward. But is it your decision or someone else's? I'm not sure of. Could it could be a Gemini's decision or a, a Sagittarius or Leo. Um, yeah, the tower's reversed here. And all the things that we want to see in reverse are in reverse. The only thing is, you know, this Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I hate to see the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups in reverse. 
you know, it's, but it's past energy, but it's very recent. It's just like here and now happening. But all of a sudden you go to 10 of swords reversed and we do want to see that one reverse. So we can see you've had a very difficult time with something, home, family, financial, emotional, something. All right, but now the t now the towers reverse and you have the 10 of, or I'm sorry, the two of wands. So we have someone trying to choose a new way. This is someone who's contemplating which way to go. But when they decide, they bust forward and they go. This is the path they were contemplating. They're going down it. So someone absolutely took time to think about and make the decision to move forward. They're moving towards peace, no doubt about it. This is a decision being made. Someone is just making a decision to get untrapped, get out of their head, and just move forward. It all came from a tower that happened. I feel like this tower already happened in your life. That's, it's, it's in the past. But it's someone needing to bust free and move away from whatever this tower was. Again, Empress reversed at the bottom. So I feel like this is a woman who's really been through the ringer. Now, you if you're a man saying, no, I had a woman put me through the ringer, well, then so be it, okay? But I have to say the Empress is surrounded by all of this really heavy energy back here. So for most of you, you will be an Empress who's in the reverse because she went through so much stuff. All right, let's look at this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords is getting clarity, no doubt about it. She's getting clarity. She's also now going to be able to move forward. She's going to be able to speak up. I feel like this is this Queen of Swords is an energy of someone who can now, um, who now has this clarity about them after going through something. Tell me about the Queen of Swords here. What do we need to know about the Queen of Swords? Nope, I don't even like the way that came out. We're not going to look at it. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. King of Pentacles reverse. All right, so hmm, somebody could be getting some kind of clarity on a money situation, a financial drain. Let me look at this again. Or someone who is just being totally selfish. All right, we want to get the Queen of Swords with the King of Pentacles reversed. Strength card. Yeah, I'm um, a Leo. All right, so this could be... Um, Something to do with a Leo and um, again, that is this the Two of Cups? No, that's the Ten of Cups. All right, so again, this is um, possibly a family member. This is possibly an emotional or family situation. So one of you has Leo in your chart. There's some kind of clarity coming in about somebody who is being completely selfish about, uh, and again, forward movement with the Knight of Swords again at the bottom here. There was something going on about some kind of financial drain here. It could have been a family issue. It could have been a work issue. But regardless of what it was, it's been emotional. Somebody's gone through something very emotional here. But they are getting some kind of clarity on it. Let me look at the emperor. Tell me about this emperor. Why is the emperor here? Four of Wands. Okay, absolutely we have a Leo in here. Or an Aries man. Yeah, this is Aries. This is an Aries man? Possible Leo. Could have both. Could have both. Um, there's something going on here with... I feel like this is like... Um, this... This Emperor. There's like a celebration or something. There's something happy happening here. There's... Um, this could be about a home. It could be about a family. There's something good happening here. Can I, um, give me the three of pentacles. Someone's going to decide to work together with someone. Tell me about this three of pentacles. What's going on here? Yeah. Someone from the past. Whoa, look at this. This is exactly how I saw it too. When it came up where he's making an offer to the queen of swords she's right here right so we have the six of cups and we have the queen of swords again someone wants to work with the queen of swords this is someone from the past all right so if you are coming through as this queen of swords who is getting some kind of clarity on some kind of financial drink could have been a family thing or a work thing there's someone who wants to come in. They could very well be a Leo here with this um, sun. You're going to know them as an Aries or a Leo, I feel. They want to come in and make you some kind of offer. They definitely want to work with you. I feel like they want to work on happiness, joy, family. They want to work on a home together. They want to be your man. 
All right, give me, um, and this could be vice versa, but I doubt it. Um, for most, if you're a man going, now, ah, there's a queen of swords, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or whatever she is. She could be an empress as well. She could be a Taurus or a Libra for me. Um, she's your counterpart regardless. Um, who wants that for me? Well, then flip the story. But for most of you, this is a man wanting to come in and work with this woman. This woman is going to have strong Libra, um, or Gemini or Aquarius in her chart. Um, I feel strongly. Um, she also could have um, Libra strongly because she was coming out as Empress as well. And that for me is always Libra or Taurus because they're both ruled by Venus. I know a lot of people say Aries. If that works for you, just flip it. All right. So let's look at the... Um, I feel like the Empress could be any woman who is the Emperor's counterpart regardless of her sign. But she's coming out very strongly in this very straightforward, honest, clear, clear, very mental activity type of woman. The, coming through as the Queen of Swords twice here. In the upright, she is definitely looking pretty amazing. All right, let's look at the, um, oh, we got one that flipped. Hold on. Let's look at the, um, and again, we have um, more sixes here. This is really good energy. When you're getting past all those fives, you're getting to the sixes. These tens um, were tough to go through, but now we're at a reverse ten, and we want the ten of swords to be reversed. We want the eight of swords to be reversed. Somebody's definitely getting out of their head and getting past something that was very hard, very heavy. They felt very betrayed. It brought a tower into their life. Tell me about this Ten of Swords reversed. What do we need to know about it, Spirit? What What do we need to know about the Ten of Swords reversed? The Chariot reversed. Okay, so we have Cancer here as well on the table. So we have someone who, and this also just has to do, it doesn't have to be anything to do with Cancer. We have Scorpio on the table. We have Sagittarius on the table. There's a lot of signs coming through here. But the important part is this was more of that stuck energy. The Chariot in reverse, the Death in reverse all tied up in the eight of swords these were all completely stuck energies okay but we're getting past them all we're getting past them we're going we're coming out of a time where we felt very betrayed now i want to know why we suffered this betrayal it's like we suffered this betrayal and it, then it got us stuck or did somebody purposely get us stuck in something and that was a betrayal that's the part i don't know we do have the two of cups reversed here at the bottom right next to the five of cups so this has been very emotional and it had to do with some kind of soul contract or physical contract again let me look at this eight of swords reverse see what you're being freed from here tell me about the eight of swords reversed here we're getting out of the all tied up why is the eight of swords here reversed please we need as much information ace of cups reversed the ace of cups is reversed so your new beginning's been on hold yeah, page of cups here. This is new, new. There's something that's been on hold. You need to get untrapped for the, from this. Let me get another card on it. I want one more card, please, on the Eight of Swords Reverse. What do we need to know about the Eight of... Just going to take what flipped, okay? And that is the Eight of Cups. Okay, so we're walking away from some kind of very emotional situation. That's why the Ace of Cups came up reverse. This has been very emotional. You're leaving behind the emotional end of this and moving towards uh, freedom here and, and balance. Look, temperance twice right here and right here. Archangel Michael stepped in here. There's something, um, you're walking away, you're getting untrapped, you're releasing any kind of old emotional junk that was keeping you trapped here. Somebody did something to you that felt very betraying, very upsetting, very 10, ten swords to the back, you know, um, and this is what you're leaving behind, um, this pain uh, that has kept you stuck. I want to get one up here on the Hierophant reversed with the Death card reversed. This could have been a Taurus. It could have been a Scorpio that was uh, making you feel this way or that you had an issue with. King of Swords. All right. So King of Swords shows up. This is your counterpart. King, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, Empress, Emperor. They're your counterparts to each other. Something about this man, again, your partner, Two of Cups reversed. Uh, this was a breakup. This was a loss. This was a severing of ties. This was something that has kept you stuck. 
vice versa if you're the man going this happened to me yeah just flip it all right whatever it is but for most of you i'm feeling that this man or some man wants to come in and make an offer if this is a different counterpart if this is someone if you've been stuck after a breakup there's someone new who wants to come in but you already know this person this person is from your past or from your past life or a part of your soul tribe I mean, they're coming through Six of Cups, coming in, wanting to work with you. If they're not the same person that you lost, they're a new person. All right? So, that's going to go either way. for. Uh, but whatever this loss was in this other relationship, it was a soul contract, and it has kept you stuck. And it felt very painful, whether it was a... This could have been a physical loss of a person, okay? And if that happened, I'm so sorry, and I'm putting it out there. My apologies that it's coming out in this reading. Um, it could have been, uh, you know, the death of someone you love very dearly. And it's kept you stuck for a very long time in a, in a state of turmoil, sadness, loss, regret, um you know, all the fives, all these reverse tens, um, it disrupted your family. It disrupted your life in so many ways. Um, sadness, right? But this could have been a breakup. A breakup is a loss as well. Okay. So however this worked for you guys. Now, I, this could be a totally different person. I am telling you that they're coming through, um, you're coming through as queen of swords, having gone through some kind of family loss that was very hard. Um, but you're also coming through as the empress who went through hell. And here's your emperor coming in to offer and bring in something for you, like some kind of offer, some kind of celebration. This person wants to make a life with you, a home, a family, a life um, where you've been completely shut down and stuck this person wants to come in and take you away from that emotional and that stuckness that you've been in but you're gonna have to accept the offer and right now it's on hold here with the ace of cups you've got to move towards it it's like you've got to walk away from the emotional baggage and move towards that ace of cups in order to see it flip in the upright that would be that beautiful new beginning you're gonna do it you're gonna get unstuck no doubt about it if it's not you it's them right the full reversed. You've been in this stuck, stuck um, energy, very emotional with the moon here, and somebody wants to come in. They want to, you know, they want to offer you Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. They definitely want this from you. Let's look. We got Archangel Michael here. This feels very divinely guided. After a loss of some sort, somebody is being sent right towards you whether it's the same person or a new person for a lot of you this is a brand new person why is temperance here and the reason i feel like most of you lost this person in um, a tragic way is because they're coming through in the upright um they're coming through as somebody who's you know upstanding but they may have possibly passed away with the death card there and it severed your soul tie with the Hierophant reverse. And it's not that you ever lose that soul tie. It just, um, it broke the contract. And the contract, sometimes our contracts are just meant to be for so long in our spiritual unions. Um, so for some of you, that did happen for, I mean, I'm sure it's just a few of you. For others of you, this was a breakup. A breakup that broke your soul contract. But there's someone, if not the same person, who wants to come in as the emperor. This is someone who stepped up. If this is the same person, they have surely stepped up to emperor status here. And they want to come in and give you everything. They want the family. They want the home. They want, they want it all. But it's going to take for you to get unstuck and move forward towards it to allow it. You're going to have to allow it after, even after you've been stuck from this heartache you've been through, through the tower you lived through. You're doing it for sure. There's definite forward mo movement happening. If it's not you moving forward, it's them. They're coming at you, okay? And this is a positive coming at you. All right, let's look at the te temperance here because I feel as though this is definitely divine timing, divine intervention. Oh, absolutely, the world. It's definitely being divinely guided right towards you. Look at this. The world fell out while I was talking to you. It's graduation. It's divinely guided. Archangel Michael says it's time. 
it's time. This is a beautiful reading. Somebody is definitely going to be presented with an offer of a lifetime. And I mean it, an offer of a lifetime. This is someone who wants to share their life, who wants, they want it all. They want it all, even after the breakups and the loss. And you could have both gone through breakups and loss. Whatever this is, this person is coming in. If they're the same person, they are. They are for real this time. I mean, honestly, they are for real. It's going to take you to get unstuck and move towards them. And you will. You've got this. You've got the Six of Swords here saying you're going to make a decision to move forward. Lovers, Six of Swords. You're going to do it. They're going to do it. Somebody here is moving forward. We're trying to decide which uh, path to go down after this tower in our life. Someone's busting forward. No doubt about it. Queen of Swords, making decisions that are clear. Graduation day, the world. I mean, this is divinely guided. Absolutely. This is to help someone move into a beautiful brand new cycle that they deserve. They deserve. The um, advice is don't be afraid. This is someone four of pentacles holding back, full reversed, unable to um, take the leap to move forward. Three of wands as well at the bottom. All right. They're saying, look, let go and allow. And once you do that, you move right into something beautiful. I mean, this is really gorgeous energy. Let's get you some after tarot here. All right. So if, uh, if this person decides to accept the offer or if the person decides to move forward and make the offer, whichever way it works here, right? Um, what happens next, please? What's next in this situation? There it is. Six of Cups again. I'm telling you, this person's coming in. They're going back to the past. They're from the past. They're, they're a soulmate. I don't know who this person is. They are coming in. They Three of Pentacles, they want to work with you. Uh, they want to come in. They want to make the offer to you. They want to celebrate you. They want to live with you. They want to celebrate life with you. They want it all with you. Six of Cups. This is a soulmate. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. All right. Let's get a little more information. What else do we need to know about what comes next? Oh, too many. Too, too, too many. I'm sorry. That was just way too many. Just one or two. Oh, my gosh. They literally want to offer you everything. I'm not kidding you. They are coming in. The offer looks like this, but it's really this. The Ace of Pentacles. They want to offer you everything. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Bottom of the deck. Two of Cups. Oh, my gosh. And Ace of Swords. And oh, my gosh. Lovers. Shut the heck up, Eight of Cups. They're coming back. I'm telling you, this is crazy. This is all at the bottom of your deck. They're coming in. They're making you an offer. Truth, clarity, wisdom. This is the real deal. No doubt about it. Two of Cups and lovers, shut up. Coming back from the past Eight of Cups. In this deck, the Eight of Cups comes back. Guys, you have to let me know. I'm not sure if this person is the same person that you lost. Whoever they are, they are from your soul tribe. They are Six of Cups isn't always um, this life past. Sometimes it's from other lives past. This person could be coming back from your deep past. Whoever they are, you know them. You know them. Your soul knows this person. Guys, I'm, I got goosebumps everywhere. This reading was crazy good. Crazy good. Let me get you a couple of angel cards and let you go. This is going to be beautiful. It really is. This person is the person you're supposed to be with. No doubt about it. This is your person. Oh my gosh. These just flew out. <gasps> birth and truth okay so this is for you in this lifetime this might be brand new in other words your soul knows this person but you don't really know them yet and you might know them but you don't know them you don't i don't feel like you've had a relationship with them before for some of you a few of you you have you have had a relationship with them before and they're coming back truth and birth but they flew out flew out i want to get one or two more please what else do you want, angels, for the anyone who who uh, resonates with this reading? What do you want them to know about or focus on, please? Mm 
openness surrender and delight wow if you will be open and stop holding back all that holding back energy we had remember if you will be open and surrender to this give in to it allow uh it's divinely guided true joy comes in honestly delight i can see that this was a relationship that has been totally divinely guided this is your person i feel like you will spend your life with this person I love it. Please, guys, let me know what this is. I'm so excited for you guys. Please let me know. This is totally beautiful. I mean, look at these cards. They're coming back from the past or a past life. Okay, no doubt about it. Brand new beginnings filled with honesty and truth and clarity and stability and everything you could want. And look at this. There's love. There's compassion. There's camaraderie and there's attraction it's beautiful this is uh, it's not just sexual but it's loving and it's everything this is going to be your best friend and your love it's gorgeous gorgeous please guys let me know if this is your reading if you don't know if this is your reading because well it hasn't happened yet claim it claim it claim it this is the kind of relationship every person wants whether you're male or female please claim this reading Guys, I hope it's your reading. I hope that you have some kind of holiday blessing that's like amazing. Although I tell people to run on the holidays when people want to come in. Hopefully this will come in after the new year. That way you know it's the real deal. I worry when people just hook up for the holiday. It's just because people get lonely and bored, you know. That's how I feel. I feel like if this comes in after the holiday, you'll know it's the, the real deal. I know it's all romantic to hook up during the holidays, but... The truth is most of those never last, but let's hope and pray this one, uh, this one will. I'm telling you, I don't care when this one comes in. This one's lasting. Okay. <laughs> All right. Claim it guys at the bottom. Claim it. And so it is. It's yours, right? Um, I will talk to you guys soon. If you need a personal reading, hit me up below. My information is directly beneath this video in the description box, the description area. You'll see my email. Reach out to me by email in the subject area of the email please write personal or private reading so i know what it is so your email doesn't get skipped with all the junk mail um if you want to comment down below and claim this reading or just comment in any way let me know if we're attaching energy anything please comment down below um please hit that like button for me thank you so much let's get this reading circulated to the people that need it and that's how we do it by hitting that like like button i do appreciate it so much I appreciate you guys for your likes, shares, subscribes, and I will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye.